Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is upgrade the site to Thesis 1.8.5. And before we do that, we're going to do a quick little backup of a couple of things just to make it really easy for us to jump back in the case this doesn't go the way we expect it to go. So the first thing we'll do is come over to Thesis and Manage Options and we're going to download our thesis options as they exist right now. And we're going to actually download all options. It's going to come down to us that way. Let's see thesis all options dot dat. And then we're going to come over here to Bluehost and we're going to do a a uh, we're going to do a, a manual download of our database. So, because really changing thesis or upgrading thesis is mostly, if we have a problem with it, it'll have been a problem inside of our database, generally speaking. So, we don't really have to back up the entire site in order to make this whole thing work. We can get away with simply backing up our database if we have to restore. And so, let's see, whoops, so we're logging into phpMyAdmin and then we're going to go over to the, the correct, um, well we have to figure out which one of these things is the correct database now. So first, before we do anything, we'll go back over to our, oh, here we are, File Manager. And we'll come back over to SBYWH Final, and we'll look at WP Config. That'll tell us what our file is. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Let's just edit it. Word 45. Okay. So that's our database here. Word 45, right there. So we go ahead and let it load Word 45, and then we're going to just manually download it. And by that I mean export. First, I'm going to check all of the tables that I want to export, and then I can actually come down here and say export. This is a simpler way to do it. And I'll just go ahead and do the quick export as SQL. And it automatically downloads directly to my computer. And I can see it right here in my downloads folder, BYOB Tutorial Word 45 SQL. It's about a megabyte in size. Okay. So now that I've done that, I'm going to upload Thesis 1.85. Open up FileZilla. WP Content. Themes. I want to make sure I have the latest copy of all of my customization files on my hard drive. So I'm going to download those. I'm in Thesis 183. So I'm going to download those customization files from my live site to my computer. So I'm going to download the whole customization folder. And then while it's doing that, I'm going to come back over here to my downloaded copy of Thesis 185.
Okay, let's do it by name instead. Thesis 185. I'm going to un extract to and unzip it over there in that other folder. So I'm going to extract it to right there. So now, let's see, is my, is my custom folder all finished? Okay, there's thesis 185. Let's make sure, oh, overwrite. Say OK to that. Okay, I've got 19 files left queued, so I'm going to wait for those things to come down. Now the reason we're doing this is because we want to make sure that we have the latest version of our customization files from our existing thesis installation and we're going to move those into our new or copy those into our new thesis installation. That's what's happening here right now. So the one thing that may not always be synchronized for you is this cache folder because thesis writes thumbnails to this cache folder and so what I do is just automatically before I'm going to do a backup or an upgrade like this is I just take I just make sure I have a complete and 100% uh, full and accurate copy of the custom folder that's on my site on my computer and now that I've done that I'm going to take the um, I'm going to take that copy here. I'm just going to copy it. Come back over to Thesis 1A5, paste it. I'm just going to delete this custom sample because it's of no value to me here. So I got rid of custom sample. I've got a custom folder that's exact copy of what's on on the website now. And then I'm just going to load this thing back. Right, so if we refresh this, now we can see that on our local computer we have Thesis 185. And I can simply say upload. And wait for this stuff to upload. And then once it's uploaded, I'm just going to go back in and. Uh, or once it's uploaded, then what we'll do is, is activate the theme. Okay, there we go. So it's all transferred over. And now on our site here, if we come back over to our appearance and themes, we should have thesis 185 available to us. It is. So we can just go ahead and say activate. Well, it says we have thesis 185 as our active theme. Come back over here. It says thesis 185 is our active theme. Let's refresh this. Okay, so we have a cup we have at least one little gotcha here, and that's the menu. And what that means is that Thesis has lost the fact that uh, which menu to use as the primary menu. So we need to come back over to appearance and menus. And then where it says primary menu, select the main menu. Not sure it saved it, did it? Yeah, okay. We come back over here and refresh it. Now we'll have that menu back. 
And um, had we not copied our custom CSS over, the site wouldn't look like this, right? Because if we hadn't copied that custom folder over, the BYOB custom CSS file wouldn't be there. And so all of the styling from the plugins would be gone. Now, sometimes when you do an upgrade, sometimes it just seems to have fallen apart. All you have to do when that happens is come over to Thesis Design Options and hit Save and it will reset the CSS file and then once you've got it and you're confident that it is the way you want it to be you should go back over to thesis site options and come over here to design mode and uncheck this and hit save again and now we should have a perfect looking site with one less CSS file being loaded and everything else happening the way we want to. Okay, there we go.